And we are live. Port it's Sessions. Good. Yes, sir. Featuring Cisco Price out of Money Hungry. You know Cis what it is. Cisco Price out of Money Hungry. Yes, Mr. Bob Barker. <laughs> Bob Barker. The price is right. <laughs> okay. So, what is it that you do, sir? Well, I'm a recording artist, first and foremost, father. And a father. I'm and glad an you said that. <laughs> and you said entrepreneur too. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Um, first started off in this game, you know, writing poetry. It wasn't it was in music at first? Started off writing poetry, then from there it just evolved. You know, got hit up by um, some of the Ghetto Ballin family at that time, and uh, they said, uh, you know, have you ever written music? Uh, didn't know how to write bars for nothing. You know, it was just all poetry for me, you know. So it just started becoming an addiction to me. You know, like, so places or anywhere I can go to in the music world, you know, it's like my own little place where everything just shuts off and, you know, all the bullshit just goes pushed aside. I could be me, you know. And, um, yeah, ever since then, I mean, started growing, you know, trying to put in work like any hustle, you know, you got to put in work, you know, to be recognized and be respected because if you ain't serious, you don't take yourself serious, nobody else will. So, um, I mean, you know, get on your A-game, man. If you're doing this, put in work, you know, get respected for your work. And uh, if you got nothing to bring to the table, when you check out, you'll see, because there's a lot of more people out here in the streets trying to eat, you know? I hate that shit. I mean, you're just taking up space, man. Just putting on a face, you know? There's so many characters out here starting to look like Disneyland sometimes and shit. So, I mean... Like you said, if you don't have... And that's a good thing. I mean, in any good business... If you don't have something to bring to um, the board of directors, you might have to give up your cut. seat. Yeah. I mean, uh, I've been, I'm a young cat, I'm a young blood in this game, but I mean to, to the music game as you will, but to the struggle is, you know, nothing sure. different. I mean, this is nothing new to me. I already know how it works like clockwork to me. So that's why I sort of analyze what everything I've been through. I just harvest everything I've been through and, you know, try to, put that in the tracker, you know, anything the way I can. So there's different shades that, you know, that you might hear in my upcoming album, which is Table Manners, dropping soon. Table Manners? Yes, sir. And, um, you know, just, just listen to the words instead of listening to the beat, because, I mean, the hell is the beat? <laughs> you know I mean? I can tap to a beat right now, you go, you know what I mean? Nobody's gonna listen to it unless you got something behind it. That's true. So, um, you know, put up the lyrics a little bit more, step your game up. I have something to say, so I mean, listen to what I'm saying. You know, I just, just want it to be heard. I mean, because, I mean, I'm not doing this to the bullshit. I'm just doing it, you know what I mean, to get get at least something in for myself because, damn, there's no way out of it else for me. And where are you from, man? From here, from Watsonville, born in Santa Cruz, raised here. I haven't left anywhere. <laughs> 831, know? 831 huh? is where my home is at, it's my stomping ground. You say, <laughs> cool. yeah. Um, I mean, next question that was on the list was what I look for. What yeah, do like what do you what do you look for when you work with other artists, man? Like when you make music, because a lot of people do collabs, a lot of people do this, and and I know a lot of people are into. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of people are pressured into doing collaborations because they got friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, what I look for if you got something to bring to the table. Well, I mean, you know, by all means, to see what you got, but, I mean, other than that, you got to be real with yourself. I mean, uh, don't expect me to tell you, uh, you know, that you can't, you know, you didn't put your A-game on on that track, you know. Don't ex don't wait for me to tell you that. I mean, be real with yourself. If you could do it, then do it. If not, don't even step up to the plate. You know, don't swing, because then you'll miss. <laughs> you about people that probably shouldn't get on tracks because the beat ain't right. They just want to get on it because... Because they just want to get on it. You know, right. put their, their name out there. It's not the way it works, man. I, I do this because I have a passion for it. You know, it, it's me. It's a little piece of me that you hear. It's not just a whole couple words. I mean, anybody... Talk is cheap. Anyone could afford it, man. But, I mean, what you got to say is it's a little piece of me what you hear every time on the track. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if, it, if it's something you could vibe to, then, you know what I mean, just go get with it, you know what I mean? But that makes a lot that, of sense, though. That makes sense because... If you, and I'll just be honest, man, a lot of people feel beats, but 
they're not. You, the, can't, you yeah. can't just keep saying the same shit over and over again unless you got a new spin, a new twist, or or delivering the same message. And I don't hear a lot of people's messages. Mm. Yeah, I mean, no struggle, no <laughs> nothing. Like I don't. Hear yeah, a lot there's of no struggles. color to the. There's no color to to what they're saying. Um, Did you say something else earlier about everybody's giving yeah, the same every, color? Yeah, everybody's given their own separate color. I mean, your own characteristic is your color. Your character is your color. You is your color. So, I mean, paint a picture with that color you were given. Don't try to fucking water, water it down, man. Try to be something you're not, you know? Mm -hmm. that, that's not the way it works out here. I mean, you're just going to be another roadkill, you know, on the highway. That's if you try to run up in the game like that, man. That's not the way it works. That's not the way I collab with people, no. That's not me. So I mean, don't 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 get offended if you try to oh yeah do a collab and I tell you hey, well, I mean you know let me see your work and then just something you know I'm not seeing there. You know I'm just being real with you. I'm not I'm not fucking trying to fake it and say oh yeah, um yeah let's do a track and then just you know what I mean. This is my this is me. It's just me. That's the way I play. It. I'm not gonna fucking. Some people might fucking you know get offended and and talk shit, but. I mean, I'd rather be hated for who I am, man. Shut up. It's not hated, man. It's, it's, it's called respect because... Well, they, they, they I mean... I misunderstood. Mean, yeah. Like Cal P said, misunderstood. <laughs> a lot of people don't call it... They just don't understand your, your passion and your drive and the angle that you're looking at. They're not looking at the same angle that you're looking at. Yeah. Believe in that, too. So why do you do music in at all? Period. At like, all? What is your? What at is all, I, I found that it was as a form of poetry because that's what I had a passion for in the beginning. I mean, a lot of people, like you said, won't admit it, and that's how I started, just fucking writing shit down, my anger, my frustration, my, you know, it all transformed into words on the paper. So it's that, almost like therapy for you. Yeah, huh? it's therapeutic for me. I mean, that's how I consider. It. I mean, that's my own serenity, my home away from home. You know, that's that's what it is to me. Well, every time I step into that booth or everywhere, wherever it's at. You know, just everything blocks off. It's just me talking to myself sometimes. You know, that's how I look at it, and just hear it back, and then all right. You know, I, until I fit, paint the picture perfect how I wanted it, then it won't go up. That's true. Mm -hmm. And I, that's that's the key. You just said that until you paint it right, it won't go out. Because a yeah. lot of people send out sketches. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of sketch artists out there, man. <laughs> okay. No painters, a bunch of sketch artists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, this cartoon world. I mean. They put a cartoon world out, man. Sometimes it's like, damn. The hell they trying to get out sometimes. It, it, a lot of people do it for... Because it is cool. I ain't gonna lie. It's cool as fuck to do it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you also hustle. So you hustle music, too. Yeah. I'm entrepreneur, as I said. I mean, it's not just music. You'll find me everywhere. I mean, before this, I mean, people need me for, you know, for all here, you know, trying to, you know, my grustle, man. I was on my grustle. If you don't know what grustle means, that means, you know, combination of hustle and grind. That's right. That's grustle, man. I do two times. You got to work twice as hard sometimes in life. And where I come from, you know, I'd be damned to fucking let my family get disappointed because, I mean, my family struggled just to get over here. You know what I mean? So I have to work ten times as harder than they did because I got to, you know, to keep them proud as well. That's what I do it for, too. Every time I step on, I got to think about my family, you know, say, well, you know, I'm doing this, got to represent my family. That's how I look at it. You have to individual. Yeah, you're individual. You know, you gotta become an individual. You represent yourself, even though you're with, you know, record label or what so what. But I mean, you you represent yourself at the end of the day, man. You know what I mean, when it comes down to it, you're alone. That, that's who you are. Well, that's what a record label. In my well, I'm not gonna say that. Let's just put it this way. If I had a record label, I'd have a, a hired team of assassins, and there's no need to have an assassin that is good at one thing. Yeah. I mean, excuse me, nine assassins that are good at one thing. I'd rather have nine assassins that each got their own specialty. So in case one thing don't work, yeah. another, and then they can cross train. That's what I'm trying to do, but I'm not just trying to bring something else different. I mean, there's so I'm trying to bring another color, like I said. And Wait, I'm trying that's to, what I mean. Not, that's that's it. Yeah. You're trying to bring a tent. Yeah, but there's a lot of, I mean, it's sort of disappointing. Everybody's like, some people are, are like, sort of sounding the same. That's disappointing sometimes, you know? And, um... That, that's where I was like, damn, I mean, people work so hard, you know, and then other people are just copying like a Xerox machine, man. You know, it's just not, that's not, somebody should slap the fuck out of those people. That ain't me, because I'm not ready to catch another charge and shit. Yeah. But, um, I don't play with kids, man. <laughs> well, that'll lead me to the last question before we finish up. Do you have, and it sounds like you do, do you have any advice 
or artists. Yeah. In life, you know what, I'll, and I'll extend this too because you're a father in life and in music. Life. Man up to your mistakes, man. Once you own your mistakes, nobody has control over you. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people tend to not acknowledge the mistakes that they did. And once you do acknowledge that, man, then you're free, man. You're free from yourself, your conscience, and everything like that. That's what I tell myself. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes. I ain't gonna deny it. I was like, I wasn't a good father in the beginning. I'm not gonna deny that. I was out of my child's life for a quick minute. I mean, you know, just running with the gang and all that shit, man. And it did play a toll in my life once I started seeing that um, I was talking to my son, trying to talk to my son through the phone. You know I mean? And once I seen that the life, I was gonna miss out on his life. So I just did a 180, man. I mean, a lot of people like tend to say, oh, why don't you ride, you know, why let's go out here, you know? I sort of think about it twice because I think about my son foremost. Every decision I make, I think about it, how it's gonna affect my son. That's how I play. And so I take that more seriously. And in music, like I said, you have nothing to bring to the table, check out that seat and you know, give another person a try. Because there's a lot of people out here, there's a lot of talent out here. There is, there is. Uh, in the know. world, in yeah. the fucking world. Yeah, yeah, there is. In every hood and every, everywhere. And then it's taking up space because people sometimes try to shut them down. They, and they actually think, you know, they don't have that confidence at times. Well, a lot of people don't have that confidence. So just come out your shell, man, get out your comfort zone and shit, switch lanes and drive your own way, drive your own way in the game. Take the steering wheel, drive your shit, you know, push yourself, that's what I do. You know? Alright, poor sessions and we are out of here. Yes, Cisco. sir.